container there and there's a girl behind that as well. Is there? She's drawn yeah. as well. Loads of painters. Yeah. Plenty of painters. We're on the, we're on the trail of the painters. I was, I was about to ask when they come up and paint the house. They said, they're not them sort of painters. They said, they're well, we're foolish fellas, you know. When you see painter up, you only think one way. One and then later on I'll do another one and hopefully this evening there'll be a nice night evening yeah, sky. That's yeah. what I've been cloning, so I'm stuck in there all the time so I paint for my own photograph. So this is a great challenge. Do you not say this is different? Yeah, it's like artistic license. Like artistic the, the thing license, is for yeah. me, it's like I have a problem of always putting everything in and people are yeah. telling me you yeah. have to know when to leave things what out. You put in. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Well, it's just a grey morning, so. Ah, it is. It's one of those grey mornings. You get them maybe so often you get them. Thank you. Half tones like that, I love it. Yeah. What's the word? Character for Oh yeah. We we'll have it since 1972. Comfort is number one. Getting well wrapped up is number two. Right. Hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm originally from Wexford anyway, so ah, yeah. I, I painted this town so many times. The uh, key, so I've only got a certain time to do this. So I bought us there and I've been at it. And maybe a few little boards in the background by the time I finished, you know, and cut, try making it as simple as possible because I mean, if you start going in further, too much detail, yeah, you know, yeah, foreground, I just jump on you. That's fine. I see you picked the composition of just like that. Yeah, like this. I'm actually hoping the title will go further now. By yeah. the time I finish, so I, I only have a certain amount to see here. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it rains, it'll be very cubist because I go yeah. very fast. <laughs> Can we come and visit you in your caravan? Yeah, what? Okay. Okay. And and blank, kind of a yeah, blank piece of paper or what do you work on? Yeah, I, I do. First I do layers. Uh -huh. I try to paint what I call nothing. I look at nothing, which is like the distant views or something. It's slightly typical when it started. Okay. I see this paper. Uh -huh. This was all that color when I started. Right. Because I knew I'm going to make, it's going to be grayish and cool. So I want warm underneath. I can do different meanings. This is a, an example of what I mean by nothing. This is yeah. my village in Kinvara. Yeah. This, there's, the bay's full of boats. It's full of objects. And I decided that I'm sick of that. I'm real good at all that stuff. So I mean, I'm like, you know. Oh, yeah. So you, when you woke up this morning, you saw it was a gray day. You weren't at all Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, this is my kind yeah, of. where's the rain? <laughs> Bring it on. Neve. Neve, okay. And Neve is, of course, the poster girl on the uh, this year's um, thing. So, anyone who's wondering who the lucky girl was, yeah, she is Neve. Whoa. <laughs> That's right, good. Still not sure I like the foreground. Pushing it back, it's And, um,. That's actually an old election poster. <laughs> I just cut it out. Yeah, yeah. And um, feel the weight of it. Oh, that's very handy, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> have you been Have you been painting this morning so far? No, I haven't. I was up too late last night, and I wow. needed a rest. My best work seems to be getting done in the evenings. Was this in T. Morris's at the barbecue? Was it? Yeah, and it was a great night. Oh. Brilliant night. Absolutely fantastic. But uh, I'm not really a morning person, <laughs> so I'll start about now. I'm going to start in the open. Oh, that's something nice. Right, we haven't done this for 20 odd years now, and it's still scared me. Look at, look at that. <laughs> a nice little corner here, a little terrace of houses. You must, did you know about this terrace? No, I just was walking, wandering around. And Looking for a subject? <laughs> I walked past it and I thought, oh, that kind of hit me when I was in class. So I came back to it. And, and right. Yeah. When you stand here, and, you know, every every separate one sort of has different colors to it. It's a little pinky, it's a little yellow. You know, it goes down. And you it's don't quite, notice that if you just sort of go past it. It's nice. Well, it's not so much about painting the thing itself. It's about, what it's, at least for me, it's about you know, how it feels and how it, it yes. <laughs> Where have you come from? Uh, Virginia. Oh, Virginia, right? Yes. So oh, that's quite a long haul. 
Yeah. They come and paint the terrace and pick the houses in Wexford. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have those houses in Virginia. Yeah. And uh, do you paint them? Are you paint them? No, no, you, would you be interested so. in try, trying it I now? I would yes. actually, after looking at this, but on the screen you could do anything yourself. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that, that was my, the, the concept was blue, but then I couldn't, I couldn't get the, I really want the horizon line either there or there, yes. and I couldn't manage that, so I compromised. Do you, do you call it grey or do you kind of, do you, do you soup it up a bit? You know? Well, it actually, it forces you to think, you know, you have to spend just a wee bit more time designing. Right. If you just leave it to nature, you're going to have a dull painting. If you, Put a bit more thought into it, you might end up with a better painting than your own. Everybody can paint on a sunny day, but. Right, right. It's tricky to paint on a dull day. Seriously, technical. No, not so. <laughs> You're working with watercolours and yeah. a bit, bit of pen and ink, is it? That's right, yeah. Line wash, yeah. Line, line wash. Yeah. yeah. And you've got a few cars in there as well. Oh, you don't well, need to put them in. They're there, they live with them. Uh, part of all this modern town city life, so I right. put everything in, but these, the whole, the whole lot. <laughs> Shibon, everything goes in. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Mix. I mean, to me, it's what makes. It's what makes it what it is, really. And you pick this composition with the uh, with the orange bricks, one of the very few orange brick buildings in Mexico, you know? <laughs> well, it's very, it's very iconic building. It is iconic. Yeah, but, yeah no, it's a sable brush. Ah, it's a number 14. Um, yeah, it's... Um, you need to come back in about three hours' time to see the... Uh, what happens? Oh, you blank the motor, you can kind of Well, it kind of comes with the territory, you know. I mean, um, I think most artists are the same in that it, 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 it's always difficult at the beginning of a painting because you're, um, you know, you're struggling to get into it. And, and sometimes when people come up initially, you know, when you first start, that can be a bit annoying. But they're always very kind, they're always very complimentary. They're curious, which I can understand. Yeah. And in the end, you just have to accept it just goes with the territory, you know. Yeah. It's just it's just part of what we do. And there's another aspect to it in that I think it helps people see their own environment in a different light. You know, things that they see in an everyday way um, and don't really notice. Uh, suddenly an artist comes along and points it out. And yeah. suddenly they look up and think, God, you know, yeah, that that's is really quite, quite nice. Yeah. And I was in Ennis Court yesterday, you know, and they were saying, the colours are wonderful, but they're there. <laughs> they are there, you know, I haven't made them up. <laughs> they... So I want to concentrate on the sky, but I still want to have uh, the smallness of the people in there as well. Right. You know, the feeling of. Uh, being quite small within quite a big um, universe, as it were. Is that one of the one of the top tips that you'd give to people when in doubt? Yeah. Find the red boot. Yeah, yeah. Red or, or everything. Put a purse with a red, red jacket. Red, yeah. red everything. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in America, yeah. Yeah. when they do street scenes, yeah. they have an expression. You put somebody with a red jacket. They call it the fifty dollar red hit because oh. you, you put fifty dollars on the painting yeah. <laughs> straight away when you put a red jacket in. <laughs> When the, painting is, when, the paint, yeah, when the painting has failed in all other respects, resort to cadmium red. <laughs> yes, I mean, the, the numbers are way, way up in last year. Way, way past our wildest expectations. Yes. Like we're, we're going to have well over 100 registered. Like last year right. we had about 60. Yeah, I've, got, I've got all the cad red out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now oh, this is uh, 17 of 100 of these outdoor before you can begin to sort of consider yourself proficient. Oh, so you're on number 17? Of course it changes all the time, that background. It's now got a lovely mauve, more mauve blue and mine is a bit on the yellow side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's at 8 o'clock before I left in a spot. Really? So I had, had enough. Yes. You we were all painted out. I was painted oh, out. I was, ev I was everything yeah. out. There was nothing left. No. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not to go down to the T. Morris. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the plan is these guys are going to be playing the music and you are going to be drawing them, is that it? That's the idea, yeah. With this uh, St. Patrick's Fife and Drum Band. They're a great marching band. I don't know about a great painting band. 
I've never seen any of your work before, Tony. Oh, well, I don't get out and about very often, as often as I like. <laughs> when I do, I usually keep quiet about it. Is, is that the complaint most artists have? They just don't get out enough? Yeah, that's you know? true, yeah. Get out of that garret and climb down and absolutely. get in the streets. Yeah. Exactly, get out there where the action is. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you... But I was so happy to have the wall in there. He he just came out and he said that his, this has been painted many times. Has it? By many artists. Know, yeah. So he brought me in. He insisted I go in to look at his wife, who died six years ago from cancer. Lovely, lovely gentleman called John, and her name was Anne. And he showed me all their wedding photographs. They got married three times. Would you believe that? The just registry to make sure. office in, uh, initially in London, <laughs> right, yeah. because he was so mad about her, right. he had to get married to her straight away, and they got married in the registry office, and then when they came back, his mother insisted they got married in the church, so they had the second wedding, mm. uh, which was kind of a low-key affair, and then years, years later, they had a huge big wedding with a big white dress and everything, and the big limousine. <laughs> I'm uh, still just only locking in more or less, you know. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to work fast. This is a, Speedy, right? Yeah, this is a, uh, what they call a, a 
a quick paint. A quick paint, right? Quick paint, yeah. And there's a load of artists. But you, you have two hours to get down what oh, you're right, doing. Only two hours? No. No, and I'm not, I spent. I won't keep you too long then. I spent the first hour <laughs> drinking soup. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Love every minute of it. I enjoy looking at them all. Well, I think it's, it's great for the town. It's great for any, uh, any kind of festival. It really brings people to the town, creates a bit of a buzz, but uh, the art that we've seen around here today is absolutely fantastic. Standard of the art? Standard yeah, is fantastic. Very yeah. good. Uh, how, do you, how does it make you feel when you see someone say, drawing or painting something? Envious. I was just going to say the very same word, <laughs> envious. <laughs> and love to be able to see Does it make you look at so, this place a little bit differently? It does, because the people you know, are not just copying what's there, a lot of them, they're, they're giving their impression about it, which yeah. might be different than yeah. your own. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It does open your eyes, yeah. yeah. Makes the town look fabulous. It does make the town look it fabulous, doesn't it? Look fabulous. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, it's, it's good for the town. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. I think it brings a great touch of colour to the town and um, lots of life. And I think it's it's just fantastic. Leon, yeah. Yeah, we have Paddy Dargan. He's one of the judges for today's very tricky decision making process. How'd it go then, Paddy? Uh, very well, but it was very tricky. Yeah. Uh, there's good diversity of work and. Um, and it's not an easy task. <laughs> right, it's not right. An easy task. No, I don't envy so you one little bit. Two runners up and an overall winner. And then okay. there's various other prizes um, for uh, different shops or different premises that were painted. Right. The, actually, the uh, owners of those premises picked the winner for those. Right, okay, yeah. so there's everyone's a winner kind of situation at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. What are you looking forward to? I have. A <laughs> <laughs> You're looking forward to a couple of pints, of course. A couple of pints, three pints. I believe you're the man to talk to. <laughs> Isn't it? Why do, how do you tackle the people? Not many of them. It's good people you've got there. I've got to carve them out. At the yeah, end, I'll yeah. carve them out. And that out since we started painting. Because he came yeah. over, they were telling him about you was there. Oh, that's, that's really, I recognised him as soon as I saw, that's Jimmy, our bus driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I slapped in his moustache real quick. <laughs> I didn't do now, I'm really, I'm using acrylic. Right. On this, you know, I turn it around, I just underneath, like that. Acrylic. Yeah. And then when I'm happy with the acrylic, I turn around and I put my oils, but I didn't do this now. Right. So that's why I'm just in despair. Because uh, in, in despair. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because I changed, you know, my organization and now I just can't, and now it's all can't gone, do go, it. It's gone to pot, as we say. Sorry? It's gone to pot. Oh, it's, it's up the creek. It's, um, it's banjiks. It's, uh, I don't know, it's... Tre, tre miserable. <laughs> yes, yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how are you finding? Have you enjoyed the festival? And oh, very much so. Very, very much, much so because I, I, I never painted in plein air before. Never? This is your first time? Yes, and um, and it's, you know, with all of the people and the energy and that, uh, looking at other people's work and how they organize themselves and, yeah, the you know, this is very, very interesting. Very, it was very good. And <laughs> Extraordinary. But, uh, yeah, I, I actually didn't do it because I wanted to see how people is working because the, the only right. bad point, which is the only bad point, is that you work but you don't see other people right, working. Yeah, yeah. And so I took the opportunity to have them all around so I could actually see how they, yes. how they process. And have, you, have you had a good reaction from the crowd? Here? Yeah, public. yeah, pretty much. Like it was good. Last year was great as well. I was up in the bull ring. Oh, last the bull year, ring, right, yeah. And uh, everyone was like, I turned around at one point for a smoke break, and there was twenty five people standing behind me. Jesus, what did they get there? Like. Yeah. It it is the composition with the crane. The building, the church, the church, that building, the road, the hoarding is quite important. Yeah, the, the sort of twisty, turny hoarding. And um, I think it says a lot about the sort of economy. Right. Yeah. Are you, because that's what I live in. Right. Yeah. That's where people operate. So all my work is about um, the stuff of urban life. Right, cars, building sites. The stuff that I paint is completely 
of deconstructed London and uh, there's something kind of really fantastically um, honest about what you've chosen to paint and if I if I was choosing something to work on in this in this place I'd have been I'd have gone straight for that there's something wrong with it yeah you're asking me what's wrong with it yeah it looks like it's been in an earthquake yeah you probably done it when you were drunk did you <laughs> 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 the mutual <laughs> trading of insults. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, God. Can you shoot us? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> well done. That's so funny. No, it's good.